Mr. Emotional Adolf. I just bought the PlayStation Mini Classic. What a mistake. What crap games it comes with, at least my Sega Genesis Mini plays just about all the old carts, which is cool, because the save states and some decent titles. Wish it had Shadowrun and Road Rash games, though. Uh, disappointed with the PS Classic, I'm going to pawn it and buy a hidden gem and one box of chocolate mall teasers or smiley pies if John Hancock has left any, any left, ah, an air emotional Adolf, I got you, has any left in stock this month. Last I heard, John was actually out of stock of those. Uh, he sold a couple cases to someone named Jordy Jordan. So, yeah, it might be a while before he gets any back in. Uh, as far as the PlayStation Mini Classic, you did wrong, man. You should have checked out my PlayStation Mini Classic video I uploaded uh, a couple months ago. Might have been more than a couple months, maybe December, something like that. No, wait, it was before it came out. Uh, talked about it. I was interested in it. I was thinking about get it, getting it. And I know you'd be like, oh, Rick, you talked against the Genesis Mini. Why would you get this other thing? Well, because unlike the Genesis 16-bit, 18-bit, 64-bit, uh, Nintendo 64, uh, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, uh, Xbox emulation, stuff like that, that's not as easy to get. Whereas, like, you can on almost anything emulate an N64. I mean, Kenny has an N64 emulator on his phone. You know, they're not hard to get, but the PlayStation Classic, it's not something that's, you know, readily available that, I, that I've that i seen. Maybe you can prove me wrong, but I don't see that in many places. Uh, the game selection, it's freaking terrible. I mean, there's a couple winners on there, you know. You got Metal Gear Solid, you got Resident Evil, but you also got, uh, I'm not knocking Intelligence Cube, but really, does Intelligence Cube, you know, does it even have Parappa the Rapper? Like, there's a lot of titles on there. I mean, there's only 20, right? So you think with only 20 titles, you would put in the best of the best. Why on God's green earth is Rainbow Six on there? Rainbow Six? Look up Rainbow Six PlayStation. And who who felt like, you know, they wanted to bring that back 25 five years later to put as a best of? If the idea is you're putting the best of on something. I think it's probably, I'll go out and say it's probably the worst kind of these systems ever released. And it could have been the best. Think about the PlayStation library and how sad that is, right? Uh, of course, it's a mini, so you can't play a uh, regular disc. What would be cool is actually if they came out with one that actually lets you play the disc, you know, and had like preloaded games on it. You can make it cool, just like a, a very miniature thing. You can make it just a little bit bigger than a CD, you know. But uh, like I said, the main reason, um, and I know a lot of you are going to get excited and going to get the Genesis Mini and everything. The, the reason that I think that's kind of a waste of time in many cases is because, like I said, emulation is really easy for the uh, Sega Genesis. And I know it's not perfect, but, you know. If you're a perfectionist, I guess that's, you know, good for you. But, uh, yeah, the PlayStation Classic Emotional Adolf. Uh, maybe someone will buy it from you on eBay. Maybe you can trade it for something. I don't know.